Okay, apparently I'm on autofocus macro now, so I don't know how close we can get. Oh, I don't know. Yeah, we're going to get shadows, fellas, I think. Oh, well, we'll, we'll see how we go. We might, might make the still shots a little bit better, but yeah, I'm going to have to work on this, fellas. Yeah, maybe you don't have to make, make up, you know, set up your own little photo lab or something and, and grow them in a pot or something, or bring one in from the wild or something like that sort of thing. And, you know, a choice plant, like I did back in the um, in the 80s when I was trying to get some decent shots for um, John Mignana to make some drawings of. I, I took things, little ones, and I photographed them. And I sent the photograph to John and then he made drawings from those photographs of what I thought were the typical decent sort of plants. Well, in Southern Australia anyway. As I said, we don't seem to get that sort of... Um, uh, yeah, that cute stage here, we don't seem to get that that you get when the season is a lot longer in uh, WA sort of thing, so, yeah, I don't know. They're not the best plants in the world, and I think it's probably best to go uh, walk down to this bit down here or something. Of course, it'll be a good test, it's probably all out of focus now. Maybe we'll just have a quick squiz in here. Get a super macro on that one, I don't know. Maybe, oh, maybe it's a bit like, uh, different sort of logic maybe I need to keep it on yeah, yeah macro function and the landscapes it might be slightly out or something but it always allows you to go in close up or something like that yeah reasonable close up maybe that's the sort of logic we need to work on anyway it'd be worth trying anyway don't know how close we can get into that one. Oh no I'm just playing around here fellas, really. It's the end of the season and uh, I'm not really into it really at the moment. I'm still working too hard on the fly trap. You know, trying to make that sort of, that, break, that, uh, that aha breakthrough moment when everything falls into place sort of thing and it just all makes sense. And we can just all go forward sort of thing. So uh, yeah. Oh, well there's still lots of little babies there. I don't know whether they're gonna actually make it uh, well, they've only got basically five weeks to sort of grow up and get a, get some sort of decent flower stalk up and set some seeds because otherwise it's going to be all over red rover of these things. And these ones here are only half the size they could get to if they had a decent year and a decent start off in life. Oh, I don't know. Just seeing if I can spot anyone that has a fly in it or something. Because that, that's the whole point of having the macro function, isn't it? And I don't know how I get to super macro. Get to look at the back of the screen or something. Oh, I've only got 22 seconds on this clip anyway, so I'll probably start another one. Maybe we should check to see if the colours change when we go from one, one mode to another. Oh, that looks pretty good. Actually, that looks better, I think. Don't know whether the camera's just adjusted over these two clips or thing. It makes some sort of assessment. And the more clips you take, the more assessment it does. And 